Hello, Mioni here and welcome back to another short news video, this time looking at the latest in developer blog news. There's not really too much going on, a lot of people are just waiting for Shadowbringers, but Square Enix have put out another developer blog, this time talking about the Gold Saucer, and indeed tomorrow, which is Thursday June the 6th as of the time of recording, is the Make It Rain campaign, which will basically grace the Gold Saucer once again, allowing you to get anything your heart desires, as long as you use just a little bit of your time to grind out some of the rewards if you're a little low on MGP. They say this is the top three reasons to visit the gold saucer. Apparently number one is the first reward being a brand new emote and indeed the main reason to do the event in general. The event itself kicks off in Uldar. I actually did a video previewing this last time but we actually get this image in game this time of a character doing the pose. It doesn't say if this is going to be a dance or anything like that. It says we know that many players have been anxiously awaiting the day this emote was made available. The wait is over because you will earn it after you complete a very heartwarming story. On top of the emote, you will also get an MGP card too. A pretty sweet deal. Specifically, this emote just looks like it's going to be a pose. I don't know if it's going to do like the robotic rotation animation that you see sabotenders actually use. I really hope that it does, but it might just be a pose similar to something like you would see in the Hildebrand quest line. Regardless, I'm pretty hyped to get my hands on that, and of course I'll do videos on all of tomorrow's stuff as well. They say the number two reason to actually take part in Make It Rain is that during the Make It Rain campaign, the amount of MGP that you can earn whilst participating in the activities will score you 50% more than usual and this is the main reason you see a lot of people grind out over at the gold saucer during a make it rain campaign say for instance you're just a little bit away from something basically any activity within the gold saucer pretty sure it's any activity i don't think there's any that isn't increased will pretty much net you 50 percent more so that's anything from chocobo racing to out on a limb wood chopping usually you see a lot of people up there there's a lot of people that are a lot more dedicated to this than me i just do stuff over time that's how i get my mgp and fashion report obviously and uh, i think fashion report's going to be affected by this i don't see why it wouldn't will actually stack with your fc buffs as well so there's an mgp buff you can turn on this is basically your time to try and save up for anything you've missed or anything you want to finish off before shadowbringers inevitably brings us some new rewards they say the third reason is some of the rewards obtained with mgp are also discounted during this campaign pain and they show off here the crystal tower striker the monster toss machine and cover cur machines are all 200,000 mgp and we also have the gold saucer attendant card the roland card and the gg card making a return to this event and those are all on the actual currency exchange vendors and the main square of the gold saucer we also have reductions to pretty much all of the armor sets as well so anything from the gambler's trench coat all the way down to the riviera dress and onwards we also have some of the Garrow event items as well. These are the tarnished versions. The difference between tarnished Garrow outfits and their weapons is actually that they're not dyeable, whereas the ones you can get from the Wolf's Den Pier with uh, wolf marks from PvP are actually fully dyeable. So that's the main difference. The only thing I would say is probably worth picking up with MGP from the Garrow stuff is the Divine Beast Shield, because this is the only way of actually making your shield completely invisible in the entire game. So definitely pick that one up if you play paladin and want to have some interesting glamour where it looks like you're just wielding a sword without a shield so that's pretty much the make it rain event in a nutshell they say amazing value amazing look yeah so uh yeah you can look forward to that from 1 a.m i believe tomorrow june the 6th until monday june the 24th at 7.59 a.m. PDT, and they also link to the special site that we've done a video on previously. So hopefully you can get some of the things. I know some people who view the channel commented previously that they were ever so close to getting some of the mounts. Well, hopefully this, combined with the fashion report videos I do every Friday, will help you get those in no time at all. Either way, thank you kindly for watching. A link to this will be in the description of this video. Thank you once again, and I'll see you all next time.